What's up, everybody? Welcome to BioS3 Raw TV. This is Carrie Keenan. I'm Jerry's other half. And I'm getting ready for the Junior USA's next weekend. This show is a little bit different than the one I did last weekend. That was the Pittsburgh Championships. That's a national qualifier. We specifically brought me in at about 95%, not 100, because Junior USA's is my goal. So the goal right now is to keep training intense, focus high, and keep me in at 100%. I'm going to go over here and do what we like to call cardio snatch or front race squat. So now what is your weight going to be at this one? It was like 102, right? For those of you who think she's gigantic because she looks big, hit a model pose. Hang on. Okay. Hang on. We have to get up here so people can actually see up close. And what did you weigh? What's the other one? Uh, 102. 102. What are you going to weigh for this one? I don't know. Probably like 199. So. Probably 99. All right. I just want to add this piece of the video in there. You can see her upper pecs and delt splinter as she goes down into the, the rays, which you couldn't see from the other angle, so that's why I'm including this one in this shot, too. Okay, so now you're on the elliptical. Why do you do, you do cardio during your workout, too? Uh, just short intervals. It's kind of uh, like a adds an element of high interval training in the middle, and so it keeps the metabolism keep going. But it's like not random, like you have it scheduled? Right, it's within specific, uh, Who, in between exercises. Who's the mastermind that came up with that? Do behind the camera. Do behind the camera. Me. Jerry up by OS3 training. You're bouncing us, so we do this, look, it looks like an earthquake. YouTube's going to want to correct this, so hang on, let me get your form. Check the form out. So you're pushing with the legs. And you notice that she's not going super high intensity right now, but as she goes through the interval, she'll go higher intensity and push it up. And this is actually part of the training during the training. And what's this next exercise? Side dumbbell laterals. Side dumbbell. This is a basic exercise. Yeah. This is like a staple that if you want bigger delts, which you can always have bigger delts, you got to do the side dumbbell lateral raise. Now, before the form police chimes in, which I'm sure some of them are going to come, you can see how her hands are slightly forward. But she's lean enough in contest shape now where you can actually see the side delt pull that weight, the front delt pull, and the rear delt. So it's very hard to keep her traps out of it because her traps really take over. So she's doing certain movements for certain reasons to take certain muscles out, correct? Correct. So now what is the body part that's grown the most on you in the last two years? My delts. Delts. Yes. But the foreign police are probably going to tell you you're doing it wrong. Well, there's actually several different ways that you could do it. Ah. So uh, there's not really one right way to do it. So this is the right way for... The correct part of the muscle on your body. So if you do it the right way for you. Exactly. Plus, if it works, who gives a shit what the form is? Right? I mean, <laughs> let's face back. It's working. So it's whatever working. I'm doing is working. All right. Cool. Are those hundreds? Yes. Yeah. 17 and a half. 17 and a half. What is this thing now? This is a kettlebell. This is like the big fad that a lot of gyms have now, right? Yeah. CrossFit, etc. We're not doing it as a fad. We are doing, doing it as part of one of those other interval things within my training. So it's, it's actually written into my program. Where, who, who is this mastermind? Kim, what's playing on the weights and cardio and kettlebells? And, oh camera. my God, that guy sounds but brilliant. Not only does it help me keep my metabolism going, it also provides a little bit more variety into my workout, and it's kind of more like an athletic drill. I like right. it. So let's watch the form. It's important to keep the good form on this because when she was actually starting to do this, she would actually bend too much at the lower back and had a stance that was not right, and it was actually causing hip problems for her. So she was at the chiropractor and getting readjusted and stuff, and next thing you know, the chiro was like, what are you doing to throw your hip out of place? And then when she did this movement, he realized that 
she had uh, been putting her stance a little bit wrong and not using her back and using her hip to push. So adding plyos to the workout from the mastermind. Hit a hit a pose. The pose. Hit the model pose. That's my favorite. I like the model pose. Just because it's so individual, but... So you guys can see the split in her quad now. I mean, the split was there last week, too, but it just everything wasn't as deep. deep. Yeah, it's deeper. Yeah. Hey, so we're moving on to rear delts. This has been a big focus of mine for the last couple of years as well, because it was missing body part for a few years. Where's your rear delt? In the rear. It's the deltoid that's, that's in the that. rear? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I didn't have much of one, so we've really been focusing on that. So today, I'm going to do... This thing is the fly machine. This is probably in every standard gym across the universe. And as you can see, her grip is a little bit different. Like, I don't grab it like that. For her, that underhand monkey grip is comfortable, so you can actually see her rear delt pull. And you can see where her trap is. We try to keep make sure that her trap stays down. Because her traps pinch up, up to here, and it winds up pulling a lot of that weight. So we spend a lot of time learning how to isolate her rear delts and keep the traps out of it. It does hit the mid, you know, the mid back muscles too, but really isolating those rear delts. Just for your information, we don't train triceps. We actually don't train arms, and you can see how they get activated in all the other exercises that she does. up and if I have a different grip my elbows tend to drop and then I'll pull with my traps like you just explained so that's why it's upside down. Cool so should people they should try it different ways yeah, to see what works better what, for them. See what grip works best for you in order to keep focus on the muscle that you're trying to work. And that wraps it up so now what are you going to do now? Cardio is next. Cardio is next and yes. then tomorrow is? Tomorrow is a Plyo? leg day. Tomorrow's a leg day it's the last leg day. Yeah. So this is it this is the last shoulder day one last more leg day. day. Yep. And then next week we have like active recovery, which yep. is it's kind of like a full body. It's, it's a secret of ours that we use. Yeah, secret. Yeah, whatever. Look up active <laughs> recovery on the internet, you'll find it real quick. <laughs> and yeah. then Thursday, we rest Thursday, yep. do cardio in the morning, then we fly out Friday morning for the South Carolina. Yes. So, so you want to say anything down. to Bio Street Battalion? Thank you everyone for your support, for tuning in, for all of your encouragement. Um, keep following the journey and we'll be posting some updates. So I appreciate your support and we're out. Jenny makes a mad face, 2013. <laughs> you guys, Jenny O, Bio S3, Bio Build, the tall one. She's the one that was 7 foot 5 in the, the pictures and videos and stuff. Jenny, stand up so they can see how tall you are. Okay, so this is where I am head level with her, and that's what we see. Hello. <laughs> so now that you're done competing, she got the old bio belts from that. You're done competing. Like the other night, what happened? You said you were gonna go eat. I said I was gonna go eat two burritos. Okay, and I told you you from couldn't Chipotle. eat Chipotle. From Chipotle, like Ogus burritos, because yeah. he eats Chipotle. But I failed. But you failed. So how many did you eat? I ate one whole burrito. One whole burrito. So now the, the man. Chicken and guacamole. Yeah, you keep saying that shit doesn't matter, but so now the man versus food shit is on for tomorrow. Okay. A burrito, three tacos, and that shit's going to be stacked. All right. Like, I'm going to order them to make sure that it's the right amount of stuff in them so you don't cheat. No hot sauce. No hot, no. <laughs> Double <laughs> hot sauce. No hot sauce. And then what if you eat them, you get the Bio, Bio S3 Battalion t-shirt. If you fail, you have to run on the treadmill backwards on your hands. That has to be something I can do. Oh, uh, whatever. What do you think she should do if she doesn't? <laughs> she was looking at her phone like, what the hell's going on? If she doesn't eat the burritos or the what do whole I think food. She should do? Yeah. Like, what do I get? What do you. Oh, the yellow animal hat. No! Yeah! No it has been set in stone. The yellow animal you hat. You better eat this, Jenny. Do you want no, I have a black. I have the black one with the yellow writing. This is the yellow one with the black writing. Ooh, it was Yeah. Match. Dun, dun, dun. You better not eat tonight. Right. <laughs> oh, she Bye. agreed. All right. You guys will see it here first tomorrow night. I get as much time as I want to eat them. You are freaking kidding me. No. you. <laughs> she's like, I'll finish it Saturday from Friday. And, all right. 35 minutes. Fine. All right. 35 minutes. Okay. And whoever finishes it faster will no, win no, no, no. if they I can beat the other one. I don't eat it. I don't eat it. It's not all right. Okay. You just have to eat it. All right. 
all these like clauses and loopholes. <laughs> Fine. We'll see you guys same bat time, same bat channel tomorrow. Good luck, Jenny. <laughs>